What's up, people? It's your boy, KT the Gamer, the Narc Slayer. I don't think y'all can hear me. <clears throat> the Narc Slayer. It's your boy, KT the Gamer, the Narc Slayer. Let me stop. Okay. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Okay, I know. I've been uploading shorts, hella shorts. But a 10-minute, 20-minute, 40-minute, 30-minute video, I am so sorry it's been so long. I've been working. I've been busy. But I still appreciate the people who's been watching my channel, the newcomers. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the viewers, all the likes. And I appreciate the fact that we have made it up to 1,340 subscribers. I love you guys. Yo, like, we came a long way, especially the ones who's been here on my channel. I appreciate y'all. So y'all deserve a good video. I owe it to y'all. So thanks for y'all patience, I'm, okay? And I want to appreciate y'all for watching my one video, um, uh, when the one about the narcissist is being consumed by a demon. That one, you know, with the picture, with the the thumbnail, with a giant black demon thingy <laughs> on the picture, the ancient picture thingy, where he's eating a person about how the narcissist is being consumed by some evil or whatever that one that video has beaten how you know you heard that narcissist video those two videos are neck and neck so when you go to my channel go to the popular videos and you'll check both of them videos out and and then in uh in the in in the video had in the video that my top video right now still going from five months ago it has one it has 607 Six hundred and seven. Wait, who's calling me? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought someone was calling my phone. My bad. It has six hundred and seven hundred. No, six thousand and seven hundred um, viewers. I'm so sorry. I kept saying six hundred. It's six thousand. Um. So. So, um, like I was trying to say, this video right here in particular is going to be the best video I've ever had, I've, I've, I've ever made, because I just came up with an idea of something I need to tell y'all. This is something I came across, and before I start, please hit that like button, because y'all hitting that like button has made my videos go up to the roof, okay? Help me help y'all and help get this word out about narcissism, because we're not letting these motherfuckers take over, Okay? I know people are like, why are you cussing like that? You, you, you're supposed to be healed. Don't let these narcissists get to you. No, 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 no. I say it when I say these motherfuckers, I mean, I say it with a passion. It's all passionate because I'm not pissed off at no narcissist and whatever they've done to me, I'm over it. I know a lot of, a lot of people that's watching this ain't, and I'm going to make sure y'all get over it. But let me tell y'all how and tell y'all why and all that good stuff. So... With that being said, it would be a nice, good gesture if y'all hit that like button because when you hit the like button, it helps the algorithm for other people to see it just like you're watching it. So the reason why you're probably watching this, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the all button too. And if you're new to this channel, um, the reason why you're watching it because this video has been liked. Okay, there's a lot of narcissism videos out here, but they ain't nothing like mine. Not with gameplay videos. Remember, I'm KT the Gamer. And I'm a gamer first. I was always that first until I went through a narcissistic relationship for 13 years. <laughs> and this is where this story, this, this, this not story. I got a story too. It's going to be a story time, but this is where things get interesting. So before I start, this is some gameplay. So y'all just watch this and relax. And if you didn't go through no narcissism, you just want to chill and watch something on YouTube just for entertainment. By all means, I'm all here too. I'm here for it. So we're going to start this game off. We're playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. No, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I'm sorry, in case anybody didn't wonder. Anyway, the thing about these narcissists, okay? The thing about these narcissists. Wait a minute. I forgot one last thing. One last thing. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, I forgot one last thing. When I do be I do be live streaming, okay. So I know I've said I I, I be live streaming sometimes on a, on the weekends and no, no sometimes on the weekdays and most of the time on the weekends. So just know that be ready for my live streams, okay. Um, 
So even if it's on weekends or, you know, I do it two times. I work at Sam's Club, so I do it two times a day when I'm off. But when, I'm not, when I am working, it's like a one-time deal. So y'all just be ready. I do live stream. I'm live streaming today right after I upload this video. So y'all be ready. Okay, so anyway, back to the video. Back to the show. You see, the thing about these narcissists, there's this little story I'm going to tell. The story goes, there was this guy, okay? I learned, I learned this earlier today. No, a couple of days ago, there's this guy. I guess he's in some college or some school or something, and they've been on. They went on this. They went on this field trip. Or something like that. I forgot how it go. I believe y'all probably might know the story already. And the story goes, the guy. You know, they they went to this museum. You know, it's always that that tour guide at the museum. That's you know, you you looking at all the artsy fartsy stuff. Okay, but there was this one painting. Okay. They all looking at this painting. After all the other paintings they was looking at, they looked at it. it was just one painting that caught the eye of this guy that was a great chess player. Okay, y'all finna get y'all finna y'all finna get what I'm getting at with this story. Y'all and y'all gonna be like, oh snap! Now I see what you mean. <laughs> Watch. Hey, okay, now here, like like I was saying, when when there was the picture when they went to the museum, they all looking at this picture of this king. And this devil playing chess. Okay. Now the king looked like he damn near losing the match. You know that devastation. Like damn, I'm losing. He had his hand on his forehead. Like, oh, what I'm gonna do to beat this game? Because I guess the game, the story goes, he was he bet it, he bet his soul. <laughs> Something you shouldn't do, right? So yeah, I'd be scared too. But here's the thing. That's like being with the narcissist. You know, sometimes we don't mean to do it, but when we in there, when we in our lives. We kind of gamble with our lives with them, but we don't mean to. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we, it's not even a gamble, really. But it, 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 it can be depending on how you, you know, manage the situation. Okay, basically what I mean is, the story goes, they they looking at this painting. So, boom, after they get done looking at the painting and giving a history lesson about it. All right, follow me. All right, that's what the tour guy says, right? So they leave, go to some other artsy fartsy stuff and look at the other paintings and other statues and stuff. And the guy noticed something. The tour guy was like, hey, why are you still standing there? We're done with this. Um, you want to keep up with us? I mean, we're done looking at this uh, painting. But he say, well, you know, something's off about this painting. They should change this whole name because the painting on there says checkmate. But the problem is... But the problem is, the enemy's taking the lead. if I pause a little bit, that means I'm trying to cut around the game. I'm so sorry and help and, and play with you. I mean, not play with you, uh, help you guys at the same time. But anyway, I mean, and talk to you guys at the same time. But anyway, so he said they should you should change his name to something else. And he was like, "What is that? I don't, I don't know what you want to call it, but it ain't checkmate because something wrong in this picture. Because on the picture, you can see the king is devastated, but the Satan." The devil, he's like, he's happy. Yeah, he, he, he's like, oh, man, he got this evil smirk on his face. Just like how a narcissist will. Got the evil smirk on his face. He's happy. He's excited. Oh, I'm about to win. I'm about to beat this guy. I'm about to have his soul. But not realizing that the person who was looking at the picture that was a world-class chess player, by his experience, he looked at the he looked at the board. He noticed one thing: that King has one more move, not just one more move, but just a winning move, that finishing blow, if you will. Because I made a video about narcissism, where when you can hit that finishing blow to that narcissist, and sometimes your finishing blow can be your success. And I'm gonna tell my story, <laughs> something we all been waiting on. I was trying to wait a little later for this until I got more subscribers, but no, 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 no. We got way more beyond past the goal I was looking for so far. So, that's why I appreciate y'all. So, the thing about these narcissists, 
they might have abused you and did you wrong and did all this stuff, okay? You might feel like, damn, I'm down and out. I don't got nothing. All because this damn narcissist. Because this narcissist, I'm in this position. Because this narcissist, I'm in that position. Because this narcissist, I don't have much. I gave all my everything I ever had to this narcissist. Trust me. I know what you're feeling. I know. Trust me. I felt that same way. But you get a lot of these videos on here. They're not lying. They say, when you're dealing with a narcissist, the best way to get your revenge is not busting their windows out their car, not going up to them and smacking them upside their freaking head. And trust me, I know how you feel. Trust me, I know. The best way to deal with these people, since they have disorders, that still don't ain't no excuse for, you know, the abuse. But still, they hurt you. They did you wrong. And so the best way to get revenge is your success. It sound easier said than done, but trust me, it takes hard work. So this is my story of how I had one more move, okay? And I meant to say this too in the beginning of the video. I did a video called How You Know You Hurting That Narcissist, right? Well, this video is going to be How You Know You Beating It. Uh, how, uh, this is basically the guide of, I mean, no, uh, what I want to call this video. When you know it's checkmate for that narcissist. Yeah, I said it. Checkmate. <laughs> anyway. So. This is my story. I was narcissistically abused. And I was narcissistically abused for 13 years. Now, the first few years, I didn't realize what the hell was going on. Like I said, in the beginning, when you didn't want a narcissist, everything's all sweet and good and fine. But, ten, but times 10... <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, I even some blueberry pancakes. So my bad. <laughs> anyway. So when you're dealing with a nurse. Oh, and they ate an omelet <laughs> with uh, extra meat. Pause. Anyway. So when you're dealing with a narcissist, here's the problem. Here's the thing you're dealing with. You're dealing with a person who self-centered. Okay. Egomaniac. Okay. You're dealing with somebody who hate themselves like the don't even know what the fuck love is, okay? You're dealing with somebody who thinking they this and that, but really ain't got nothing, okay? And this is not me just talking bad, okay, about a narcissist. This is all truth. I mean, we all know the truth. So in case you're not knowing why you're being narcissistically abused, it's because they admire you. They want to be you. They can't be themselves, okay? So that, with that being said, they're going to try to destroy your life and leave you with nothing. And so you have that one more move. So just like I said, think about the chess picture. I'm talking about the checkmate picture with the king versus Satan. The, the guy who the guy who was observing the picture real closely, he was a like I said, he was a chess playing champion. I know y'all heard the story before. He was a chess playing champion. He saw something. He started laughing. He said, he told the tour guy, he said, what you don't notice about this painting the king has one more move one more move but that one more move will help you know it's going to be his winning finishing blow okay so your finishing blow will be your success so here's my story like i said i was in the start i was in a 13 year relationship okay in the beginning everything is all good times 10 i'm talking about i thought i had the woman of my life the woman of my dreams okay you know, she was telling me everything I wanted to hear, everything I needed to hear at that time, too, because, man, you know, I, I wasn't always that, that much loved, but I ain't let it take over my life. I still kept being the same person that I am because a narcissist, they're never the same. The person they show you that at the end of the relationship, that's who they really are. OK, so when I was with the narcissist I was with um, on our first date, she, I noticed something was weird. I didn't pay, I didn't quite understand it, but then I started noticing like One minute remaining. on our first day she was texting this texting someone, but she was like leaning over on the side of the the seat. We was at the movie theater at the time. We was in the movies watching it. Transformers, the second one, and something was something was off, but I didn't quite pick it up on it. And then I remember she used to promise me stuff like 
when we go to there on this day, I'm because I ain't have no money at the time. I'm, I'm gonna make sure you eat real good and blah blah blah. So we go there, and they do these things to abuse you where they do these broken promises. You know, this was the first broken promise that, uh, that hurt that hurt my feelings. How you gonna tell me we're gonna go out and go eat? Now I'm starving like a bitch, and you gonna tell me no when I ask you for a, a sandwich? Like I wouldn't have done you like that. You feel me? That's how you know something's wrong. And then she, the excuse she gave me was, I don't really trust people and this and that and the third. Well, if you don't trust anybody, then why in high school you tell me you love me? You hardly even knew me. <laughs> okay, that's another thing. <laughs> okay, so I know y'all, I know y'all feel the same way about y'all situations too. That's watching this. Like, how you gonna tell me you love me but you hardly even know me? But you're probably not thinking about that because at this time. I we had common sense, but we were so blinded by getting all this love and it feels so good and it's addicting. So we say, forget the getting to know part. We get to know them along the way. So that's what happened with me. I was like, you know, I can get to know this person along the way. I get to know this person. Turned out I really didn't know this person like I thought I did. <laughs> you feel me? No matter how long you know somebody, sometimes you don't know them. You feel me? Okay. Sometimes. Now, it's not all the time with people, whether they are narcissists or not. So the, this my situation was uh, when you when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're dealing with a person who's secretly narcissistic. Especially the one I was dealing with was a covert narcissist. She would secretly, you know, this is my story. Okay, she would secretly do stuff behind my back, talk crap behind my back, probably because I have it. The time I didn't know, I was naive and you know blinded to the fact that you know I was just blinded by love and stuff like that. But then years and years later, I started to know something new within our relationship. Everything started to get sour, you know? Like, what, what was going on was she was dealing with karma the whole time. Because what happens is when we're dealing with a narcissist, we're saving them from their karma the whole time. Sometimes they're not just with you for the narcissistic supply. I mean, they are, but the narcissistic supply can be a certain thing. I was her narcissistic supply for a lot of things. I was her shield against her karma. She was basically using me as a shield, basically to protect her from the stuff that was happening to her. Like she would call my phone crying. My brother beat on me. My brother this and that. See, at this time, I didn't look at it that way. I looked at it as you could get your hands off my girl. You feel me? But no. All this time, I was saving her from her karma, but not because something she was just doing to me. Stuff she might have done to other people too. Okay? Because. The narcissists got they they all do the same shit, but they have a certain strategy they use. They and and, uh, and see, I'm a gamer, so I use my gamer uh, tactics and skills. And plus, I'm an athletic person. I use my my skills in my real life. So you know, narcissists they known for playing a game. Now y'all get where I'm coming from, right? Hit that like button if you get where I'm coming from. Okay, it's all a game to them. So I love games. Okay, they, I love to compete. I'm not going to compete with no narcissist, but my gaming strategies and my ideas, you know, and the way I do things actually helped me destroy the, my, the narcissist I was with. Okay. Oh, I snapped his neck. Anyway. <laughs> so. The enemy's taking the lead. So, so basically, the stuff she would do, um, she was a very compulsive liar, okay? Because that's what they do. They love the lie, just like on the picture. Satan, he, he made it. They good at making things look like something. They good at making messing with people's perception. Okay, Satan on the picture against the king, he made it look like, you know, the dude was losing. He was the dude on the the king. The king is stressing. When you, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna look, I'm gonna upload the picture on the community post 
and then I'm gonna have it in my thumbnail. You just look at that picture and think about it. And I forget to mention in the picture in the background there there's a guardian angel. Okay, now here's back to my story. She had a weird strategic way of you know being narcissistic toward me. It's a lot. It's more than enough to even talk about on this particular video. I ain't gonna fit everything into it. But piece by piece I'm gonna have my life story in each of my videos, just like I've been doing for the past couple of months. Okay. And once again, happy new year to everybody. But anyway. So she would be very strategic and secretive about the way she would cheat on me. And I've been and I would hear rumors too. And I ain't believe them at first. But the one thing I know is my I have my brother, shout out to my brother Tuan. He used to tell me little stuff like, Hey, I think she's giving you that she might be cheating on you, bro, because she she gave you the S three she gave me S three sixty back in the day. Oh, she um she might you might be uh getting cheated on because I think she's trying to blind you with gifts. Well, that's what they'll do. So you can be like, okay, I'm over it. So, because when you get a gift from somebody and they, they pissed off and, they, and, they're, and you're pissed off, sometimes they cheer you up. And that's and she played on that because she knew about my life story about how my mom used to pawn all my games and stuff like that and this and that and how it hurt me. So, boom, she takes my PS4 away years later, you know, stuff like that, thinking that was going to hurt me. She might have the winning moves, but I have the finishing blow. Okay, so that's like basically a piece of just bits and pieces of my life story. Okay, so if y'all dealing with a narcissist, y'all being abused by them, y'all feel like, and then the, and then the discard happens now, you feel like you ain't got nothing. See, well, my narcissist did to me, caused me to she caused me to get abandoned. Like, she basically had they they, they good at me. She had me thinking I was this bad guy. She tried to get the world to hate me. She tried to do the smear campaign. She did all the whole nine. She she tried to destroy my fucking life. And I literally thought I was destroyed until I picked up on what narcissism was. And see, the way I picked up on what narcissism was, all this time I was winning this, I was winning against her this whole time by my guardian angel. So look at the guardian angel in the background of the picture. That should tell you everything. See, we all got our guardian angel, okay? That's a possibility. I'm y'all guardian angel, so I could be y'all guiding. Like you just never know. I mean, you can see my picture on my profile, other than the Modern Warfare Three picture, where he, the angel is pointing at the tunnel. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, type shit. I'm a guiding. I'm a. I'm everybody's guiding light. I'm an empath. I'm, I'm here for you guys. So anyway. So anyway, what she would do, yeah, what she would do is, she, she basically, like I said, she she took my game, my PS4 at the time, because she knew how much that meant to me. After I literally gave her mom, you know, CPR when she passed away. This and that and the third. So just like on the picture, they 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 good at making things look like something that it ain't really what it is. Basically, what I mean is, <laughs> on the picture, Satan is smiling and laughing like he's winning. But the angel knows that the, the angel the angel knows the king is gonna win this game because the they had that one they had that one move. So when I, like I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is, if y'all get what I'm trying to say, I hope I'm making sense. I really hope I'm doing good on my videos, and I appreciate you guys. For, for watching what's basically going on is in your life right now i'm not i know i'm not there with y'all in person but i know what y'all going through whatever is going on in your life with this narcissist now that, that the discard just happened it then the punishment is going to happen to that narcissist the karma is going to come to that narcissist you're not going to see it but don't worry about it don't go on their social media don't don't do nothing let life happens okay let god do the work and the, and the rest of the work, you do some of the work too by getting yourself better and healing. Okay, it's going to help you. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. But that's going to be the first part of your finishing blow to win against this narcissist. Okay, so here's another thing. It's always that one, that one move that might they might defeat you with that one move. 
No, but what 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 a what a few moves. Tennis like they're gonna they let's say you playing chess. You, it takes seven moves to beat you. It took seven moves to beat you, but it's gonna take you one move to beat them completely, and, and it's over. They never want to play with you again. You hear what I'm saying? That narcissist will never want to play that game with you again. That oh, that narcissist will leave you alone forever after you put that finishing blow. I know you say I know y'all like. Hey, Tifa, what is that finishing blow you're talking about? What is that finishing blow? The finishing blow I'm talking about is your success. It sounds simple, sounds easier said than done, but I'm telling you, I put this on everything I love. That finishing blow is your success. And this is another piece of my life story. My the, the narcissist I was with, she abandoned me in the hotel, she left me hanging. I had nowhere to fucking go. I had to go back with my mom, which was narcissistic too. You know, I reached out to people and people had my back and I ended up living with a roommate, then another roommate. Now I'm with another, another roommate, right? But here's the thing. When I look back on it, I realized something. The narcissists I was with used to tell me stories about how they was living from house to house to house to house. So here's here's another thing I was breaking down. That I'm going to break down. Her family didn't care about her. So um, from my understanding, her trauma, you know, narcissists, they come from a certain trauma background, okay? So her trauma was she had to be homeless a few, a few times. She never really got settled in or grounded within herself or something happened, with, you know, with her and her past. And she was narcissistically abused by her father and all this stuff. So it's something called projection with what narcissists do. Basically, what she projected on me was, oh, since I had to live from house to house and I had to live a hard life, even though this person I'm with him living a hard life, I'm going to make his life even harder. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make him suffer because of what I went through in my life. That's how narcissists think. Okay? So, as you can obviously see, I'm not over here suffering. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I'm having fun. I'm living my best life. And that's another way that you're going to destroy a narcissist. But what gives you what it gives a narcissist that finishing blow is the simple fact that when my story, okay, I was on I was just watching YouTube. And instead of me moping about why this girl leave me, I thought she was my friend, I thought she was my lover. Why she leave me? I stopped worrying about why she left and start worrying about myself. So when I started worrying about myself and my health and well-being, that was the first piece. That was the, my first move on the, on the chessboard for me. <laughs> okay. That was the first move that defeated one of her, one of her, you know, defeated her, uh, defeated her on, on the board of, of this game she tried to create against me. And then, and I know y'all, y'all, y'all hear me out on this. I know y'all can vouch for this. I know when you finally had that spiritual awakening. There was another move on the board check on the chessboard. You hear what I'm saying now? There was another move on the chessboard. You, you now you're the winner. Now you're starting to win. Now you're starting to pick up. Cause remember when they was with you and they discarded you, 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 you feel like you ain't gonna have nothing without this person. That was their winning that was their winning moves. They don't know what they, they don't know you got that finishing blow. Better yet, they don't even know who's helping you with that finishing blow. You feel me? There's something in life that's helping you win against these narcissists. All you got to do is put the work in, and and, and, the, and God's angel is going to help you with the rest. And what I mean by that is, when I was dealing with the narcissists I was with, I was watching a video. Something kept telling me, hey, watch these videos about narcissism. Cause like I said, when I said I was I was the one that we was the one that saved them from their karma. What I mean by that is, she used to, like I said, call my phone crying about what her brother did this and that and her, or whatever. And, and I was her, I was being used like for her protection. Like I said in the beginning of the video. So what happened was I didn't hardly like physically protect her, but I used to cuss out her brothers for putting her hands on her, being this big bully to her. But like I said, when we in these narcissist lives, chances are we saving them from something they're running from, their karma. They running from themselves. They running from shame. They running from being destroyed. That's why they try to destroy you. That's why when you discard, when they discard you and throw you away like you ain't nothing, 
They want to make sure everything in your life is done for and destroyed so you won't pick yourself back up. They're trying to make it the way you become homeless. Just so they can feel powerful. And so when they see your potential in life, they know you're a good person and they know that's going to help you go a long way. So for them to win, they got to like destroy you completely to the point where you probably unalive yourself even. And then they, that's when they really win. But, but not exactly because karma comes after anything you do bad, even that. So even car you get good karma, you, you do good, you get good, you do bad, you get worse. Okay. So that's what she didn't realize. I was in my bed. My finishing blow came up when, when I was looking up about narcissism. I used to reflect on, I was the one trying to protect her from her brothers when she was dealing with uh, her karma, basically. But I didn't look at it that way. So her brothers was narcissistic, her brothers was narcissistic too. Then I ended up realizing her whole family was narcissistic, but that's a whole different ball game. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all a story about that when I get a chance. <laughs> but anyway, when, when I came to the realization that she was a narcissist, I stopped saving her from her brother. I stopped caring about what her brothers did or was going to do to her. But it was at the last minute. Her brother wasn't even around her no more at this time. So she had two brothers, too. She got two brothers. And they used to always, you know, bully her and she'd call my phone crying. So sometimes, like I said, we, we always be saving these people from their karma. We, we don't mean to, but we just have good hearts. But we don't know they're going through karma. And like I said, the karma they're going through, it ain't just because of you. It's, it's something they've done to other people. Okay. So, I had to get that. I had to break that all the way down. So, um, when, when I did research, I'm laying in my bed at this hotel that she left me in. That we were supposed to pay for it, being you know paying the rent together for it. working as a team. We're supposed to be working as a team on trying to figure out where the hell we gonna stay at. But you worrying about doing me wrong. That's your main thing, trying to get rid of me because I guess I'm in your way. No, 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 no. You was she was the distraction. Okay, and that's what these narcissists are. None but some ghostly distractions in your life that's that's in the way. Knowing that they they know they're not supposed to be have no business being with you in the first freaking place. Okay, we was only with them based on their manipulation, so it's not our fault. So basically, my finishing blow came up when I was watching videos about plants. I was watching stuff about plants, that's all, just plants. And, and next thing you know, I, the way he was talking on the videos, I said, you know, I should do YouTube. And Because my YouTube already had like 100 and something subscribers, but she didn't see it coming. That's another thing. That devil be so caught up on trying to destroy your life. When you, when you get closer to God, and God works in your favor and win against these demons, they don't see it coming. They're like, oh shit, what the hell just happened? I thought I had this guy. And trust me, I've seen her, her devastated. Oh, I felt good watching it too. I played it normal, I played it cool. But trust me, it felt good. I'm not gonna lie, it did, because I'm like, you are trying to destroy my life, and I, I was supposed to be this one for you. I was supposed to be your love, and when we supposed to get married, you know, shit like that. That's what I was thinking in my mind at the time. But like I said, when if you loving this narcissist, you're not just loving a person; you loving yourself because these people hate themselves. They had to be, they had to become something else to be to be with you. They had to pretend like they were somebody else to be with you until at the end of the relationship, they turn to that real person, their true selves. So you'll never see them the same again. You might not be mad at them. You might not hate them. But you'll forgive them, but you'll still see them as, okay, she, he or she is just a narcissist. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So, my finishing blow came up when I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to do a YouTube thing. And once I start getting the hell of subscribers, that caught her off guard. It caught her off guard when I hit another finishing blow on her. I didn't. Re I stopped reacting to her bullshit. That's another finishing blow on the. That's another move on the chessboard. When I stop, when I stop caring about what she thought, that's another win right there. 
when you stop caring about what they think or what people want to think, it defeats their purpose. It defeats their uh, the narrative of you know the lies they're going to tell after the relationship is over with the with smear campaign. They're going to tell these lies and talk bad about you, make you seem like the bad guy. So it defeats the neck the narrative. Okay, so. Once I started making videos about narcissism, and she started seeing my, she, you know, she started getting, you know, she subscribed, she was subscribed to my channel because we both had it, you know, we was both subscribed, subscribe, subscribed to both of our channels to support each other, because we was going to be the Beyonce and Jay Z of uh, YouTube, which I thought, <laughs> but now I hit her with this finishing blow. The finishing blow is, she started getting notifications on her phone. She started seeing the videos I was making, <laughs> right? It then she ended up. I'm living in this because I was like I said when she left my life, I was living hotel to hotel. So, so when she, when, when she found when she was still in touch with my mom, she tried to tell my mom, "Kateri is making YouTube videos about me." No, nah, it ain't about you. It's about all y'all narcissists. Whoever watching this that's narcissistic, yeah, this is about you. You feel me? But anyway, um, so she basically tried to manipulate my mom and tell her this lie or something. Her she was standing with her dad or something out of all these years, and then my uh, my dad is doing this and that to me, and and, and she don't know what else to go. She was trying to get to me and Hoover me because she seen that not only she keeps seeing my notifications go off, she see what I'm saying on YouTube. She sees I'm talking about narcissism, I'm not just talking about her, but it, yeah, I'm talking about narcissism. I'm with you. So she would do the little things at this hotel, like knock on my door while I'm live streaming before I had my PS4, PS5, you know, little stuff like that. The finishing blow was when she saw that I had 300 subscribers and I started getting more subscribers and more subscribers and then she started realizing, oh shit. So now the, my finishing, want to know what my finishing blow is? If you run a bidding, if you run a business or you want to get a, or if you've been successful in life or something like that, worry about that. Don't worry about that narcissist. What I did with my success, I got, I got into YouTube. That's all I always wanted to do is be a YouTuber. That was one of my biggest dreams. Now I'm living my dream. Now I win. Me having y'all subscribers is my finishing blow. Okay, y'all watching this channel is the finishing blow to y'all narcissists too. You get what I'm saying? Learning stuff. Learning stuff about narcissism. Having fun. Watching some gameplay. Whatever y'all want to do in y'all life that's good and involves greatness and goodness wholesome awesomeness whatever you want to call it that's another finishing blow to that narcissist because the devil don't like anything good because the good gets you to heaven you feel me and i'm not trying to preach and when i say heaven i don't mean just dying and passing away to go to heaven that's another that's one way but your personal heaven your self peace because they a narcissist don't like peace so now y'all get the point about that painting i was talking about you got the devil you got satan no you got satan you got that king that made a deal with the devil or something like that. And then you got the angel in the background guiding you to help you with that finishing blow. So just like I said, be that chess playing champion for an example, metaphorically speaking, be that chess playing champion and realize that that devil ain't going to win and you got that finishing blow. So let your success be your finishing blow. I hope my story helped. And I really hope this channel, I hope, you know, I really hope I helped you guys on my YouTube channel with this story. You know what I'm saying? I hope I did good on my video. I know I have a tendency to repeat myself a lot of my videos, but hey, at least just so y'all can get the point. You get what I'm saying? So I hope I did good on this video. Please hit that like button. Just know that that narcissist will never win. And I'm about to leave this match. But anyway. It's been good. Like, subscribe, and share. Let your success be your finishing blow for that narcissist. And I promise you, you're going to thank me later.
<laughs> Sorry, y'all. But uh, I'm going to let y'all go. I love peace and soul, harmony. Like, subscribe, and share. I hope I did really good on this video. I love you guys. Peace. Make sure your success be your revenge. All the anger you got with that narcissist, put all your energy into something productive and win. Amen. P peace.